Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to our 21st recorded Let's Play session here in Stellaris featuring the uh, Empire that I've been uh, playing with on uh, for quite some time now and I'm kinda you, you know in a hurry producing more episodes or Let's Play episodes for this one so uh, the Empire that I'm currently right now is the United Nations of Seoul and uh, the current president is still uh, General Secretary Vera Ross and um, currently we are on the unbidden crisis right now from what you can see here um, okay I'm just gonna go through a little bit of uh, this one for uh, let's move that sectors and this one so that uh, yeah so we can take a good view um, okay so I'm just gonna freeze that for a few moments here because so we could take a good view on the uh, settings or the geography of the whole uh, you know world the whole story here on which fleet is which so I'll probably have to take that uh, you know this video as uh, you know for my story so anyway um, since I've already got that let's now proceed on our recorded let's play for now uh, the UNS has been receiving a lot of uh, major defeats in battle and uh, for the moment we are trying to appeal on the galactic uh, community here so that the uh, so that they can vote to focus on the galactic focus is to counter the unbidden threat uh, which is of course uh, we're the ones who lobbied that hopefully our vote is uh, you know our vote is a majority vote here but we still have to wait at least for a year for this to pass in the meantime um, I've suffered a lot of the UNS has suffered a lot of defeats major defeats and the uh, uh, what do you call this um, the unbidden is spreading south uh, southeastern uh, or spreading on the galactic southeast and uh, from the looks of it uh, they're doing a lot of uh, trouble here and no force in the galaxy right now except for this one uh, the, uh, the Garian Arbitrators who is more than capable of uh, you know more than capable of uh, uh, what do you call this uh, more than capable of fighting the uh, this unbidden threat so anyway let's now start our uh, oh wait before we begin um, I'd like to t make a you know a routine rounds here um, so for the moment uh, we're now uh, trying to shift all of the uh, available resources of the UNS to its war effort so basically they're doing a uh, total war now where I'm trying to shift the uh, uh, economy of the UNS to total war uh, for the moment my economy is still pretty weak because I only got 1k worth of alloys and uh, that's not really doing good to be honest so uh, yeah um, that's the thing Wait, let me uh, take a quiet look here. Hmm. Okay, so for now, uh, I'm still thinking of ways, or I have think of for several hours now on how to solve this. Uh, after, up to the moment, I'm still, uh, what do you call this, still clueless on how to solve this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, what happened is that my uh, naval capacity has already been uh, beeped up, but it's only 1,069 out of 1,700. So that's not a very good news, if you ask me. And uh, anyway, let's continue on what we're doing here. Um, it's not going to go uh, anytime soon anyway. So uh, there we go. So this is will be a uh, another uh, I don't know oh Jesus uh, I could hire a consultant uh, 
deal. We are interested in a strategic resource. Goodbye for now. Oh my god, this is gonna hit the uh, Horn Hornax Union Fleet hard and the uh, Racket Private Security. Um, not sure how it's gonna be. Uh, okay, so we're kind of low on our. Uh, uh, we're kind of low here. Hmm. We we'll probably have to uh, attack this one here. Seventh Fleet, Griffin Fleet. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh. Okay, we just have to, uh, yeah, got no choice but to avoid this one, so, uh, yeah, uh, we have no choice but to avoid that one. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's continue Fleet on. action underway. Oh, God. 21 days. Okay, uh, this is the uh, Crimson Company fleet. Okay, they're part of... Uh, fleet lost. Yeah, of course. Crimson's not... Uh, okay, we're in full retreat right now. Fortunately, there's no choice we have but to retreat that. Okay. So, uh, okay, yep, oh, god, they've already re-engaged this one. Uh. Okay, let's see, I, I know this is, will be a losing battle from the looks of it. Engaging enemy station. Because it's 2 million and it's just only 999. Okay, let me guess this one. So we got two months on the Batarian power plant. Um, how about this? 92, 912 days, that's about two years. There's a possibility that it might hit that the border systems of the uh, UNS border systems. So yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, we need some sort of distraction anyway. Ah, three days until FTL is ready. Two days until FTL is ready. One day, treat. Okay. So we have to avoid any conflicts with that. A few days battle and it nearly wiped out the whole Fornax Union fleet. And, uh, oh god, wow. Okay, so I guess this is less of a danger. We're kinda, hmm. Well, the shark here seems to be holding up. Oh, okay, my, my bad. I think it's gonna be dead. Okay, so they just killed also the shard. And, uh... Okay, how about the Griffin fleet? I know they're, uh... Uh-huh, Fortress Initiative fleet is doing their best to, uh... Destroy this, so we'll, we'll go for a hit and run tactics right now. So in case the uh Okay Crimson Company, that's okay, do your thing. Special project complete. Uh it hungers. Okay, we've already uh Okay, we're back into that. For now we have no choice but uh, we'll just put him to the Fen Habanis. And uh Okay, defenses. We'll just okay. Uh, okay, we'll just put this one, our uh, kaiju or reanimated kaiju, 
uh, back on Penhabanis uh, station. So for now, um, yeah, things are not doing good. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, we got the Fortress Initiative Fleet, Dragon Spearhead Fleet. I don't know what does that mean. I hope they could. Uh, oh my god, this is another uh, dimensional anchor. So, how is our Griffin fleet doing here? Okay, it's a combined fleet attack. Hopefully, they could. Uh, Kick this one in the, uh, you know, the butt. Hmm. Okay, right, 107, 69, 92. We're not doing good right now, but we're in, uh, so for now, what we're going to do is the, uh, uh, Corvette Swarm here. And we should be doing kinetics. So, uh, anything that bypasses shield and armor, uh, is good enough here. So, uh, Crimson Company Fleet, first UNS, Ragged Private Security returns, okay. However, the uh, Foreign X Union Fleet was totally obliterated. Uh, there's nothing much we could do about that. Hmm. And, uh, oh god, my. Ah, this is gonna take a while. Um. Third UNS fleet have to be uh Okay. No 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 we we don't have to uh upgrade that unfortunately we can't afford that we'll just have to build uh, what the hell it's still four hundred thirty five days that's all equivalent to a year before the resolutions here um, okay let me get some votes here how about the Irasu commonality I know they're uh, very loyal um, we could do a little bit trade with them um, yeah offer a trade deal uh, we could go for favors one favor um, we could give you some I don't know, maybe zero will be nice. Okay, we'll confirm. Okay, we just need all the votes that we can get from the galactic uh, thing here. Also, one more thing. Um, we need to... Um, I don't know. Maybe Yidre is far enough. Or this one. Okay, um, hmm. Um, what do we got here? Um, okay, uh, right, right, right. Uh, we'll cancel your move, but we need you to be building a gateway. Okay, 2,000. Okay, now that'll, that'll be... That's no big deal for me. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, about... Um, I'm not gonna go far with over, but we're gonna build a gateway site for that. Okay, let's go. Whew. This is really... Uh, Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, just uh, you know, just of a just uh, more like an announcement or or more like a, a message for me. Uh, I'm gonna be saving my gameplay every 30 minutes so as uh, feel safe, so that in case that my game crashes, I will just only backtrack for only 30 minutes. As we can see here, my uh, PC isn't exactly that uh, high end, so. Uh, there's a possibility that my uh, gameplay would uh, choke or something. Third UNS fleet is still. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, just give me a moment here. 
Uh, right, we got we got a battalion power plant. Hmm. Starbase building costs, fleet command limit, low gravity mega refineries. What the hell does that mean? I'm gonna go for nanite repair ripper. We need that. Anything that is kinetic base will do. And uh, oh god. Okay, just give me a few moments here because this is a little bit uh, tricky. I have to gather all my surviving Union fleets and mount them up. Unfortunately, this is a bit uh, tedious because I got tons of Union fleet here. And these things do really uh, take a while to rally up. It's a good thing that I am now using a shift button here. Okay. The 7th fleet is still engaged. Oh, what's this 14th fleet? Never heard of this one. Yeah, okay, uh, we're just gonna go put them here. Rosalge will be their main uh, rallying point right now. That's quite a bit far. Okay, so we're just uh, basically smashing their, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, their HP points here, hull points or whatever you call it, yeah, the hull, uh huh, the hull, yeah, it bypasses their shield so it's only 100,000, so hopefully we could uh, evasion negative 100%, so that's good enough. Okay, so there are several anchors here. Hmm. Oh, come on. It's 417 and... Uh, Alright, let me take a... I have to call in. Okay, good. Means that they... Uh, I'm gonna call in favor with this guy. The following we use for current resolution. Okay, so we're good with that. How is my uh, shipyards here doing? I hope my shippers are very busy doing their stuff here. An aid agency, how about... Um, uh, aid agency basically trades up, I guess, with the influence points. We have something here. Uh, something Ministry of Truth, which we need for our, um, uh, you know, influence points. <laughs> so we're now currently in heavy uh, engagement here. What the hell? What's this one doing? Okay, finally, we got some victory here. Gonna go strike him here. Okay, we'll need this guy. You can jump in and study this, uh... Yeah, 14 days.
Oh, great. No, 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 that's not gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go here and attack this one, or this guy. We're not sure if the UNS 7 fleet could EV. Let me guess, uh, do we jump? No, it can't. We're not equipped with sublight engines, which is not good. What the hell? Let me check with the uh, fleets here. Uh, I think all of them should have a uh, jump drive. Yeah, most of them are not even barely equipped. We're in the frigate here. Equipped with this guy. Dark matter thrusters. God. Fighting in the Federation here. Yeah, go with the Marauder missile. You should be equipped with a dark matter reactor. Okay, that should be. Tracking spaceborne life form. Dragon Spearhead Fleet is also uh, battling with this guy. Yeah, okay. They're kind of... Yeah, making a solid grip on almost... Oh god, it's 1.7 now. Okay, mm. we got our, um... Yeah. Mm. What's this? Yeah, what's this? I have no idea what this one. Ah, damn it. Uh, the problem here is that I'm, you know, having some lots of litter here. Hmm. Well, we could attack this one. It's 1.7 million. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky stuff. Well, they do have some several unguarded, uh, uh, unguarded fleets here. Hmm.
Oh, great, uh, where were we now? Hmm. Okay, uh huh. Okay, as long as it's a Union fleet, we have to merge it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Dreadnought class should be here. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Velasio. Oh, okay. Taking evasive action. Yeah, that's okay. Damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seventh fleet's gonna be destroyed totally. The whole Corvette was destroyed. So I guess this is really a dark time for the UNS. We are not sure. <clears throat> uh, how are we going to win with this one? Excellent relations. That's not going to get us anywhere right now. Okay, at least we have to uh, wait for at least a year here. Whew. Okay, we got 34,000 here. I have no idea why I ended up having a 34,000, but I guess that's a really good figure right now. Um, probably have to assemble a new Corvette fleet, I guess. Uh, add it. Um, ah, great. Right, um, okay, we'll just create a new, um, Corvette fleet here. Tomcat, and then frigate. Okay, it's at full strength again. So, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna save this one on our OBS. This is our 21st session in Stellaris, so uh, things are a little bit dicey for the UNS. UNS episode 21, letter A. There we go, and I'm going to save this one in OBS. Just give me a moment here.
Alright, so we've already saved that on our OBS, so let's uh, see how things are gonna work out here. Uh huh, yeah, the uh, UNS Archimedes has to, uh, you know, has to uh, pull out. So the whole uh, western or south west of the uh, gal galactic southwest has been devastated, specifically the Midfall Kingdom, um, since they're the main source. Okay. Just gonna sell this one for a while. So how many more 63 months? We can't really go with that. Subterfuge. Hmm. So what? Well, what unity do we have? One five. So um, see on our edicts here. Scientific progress. Monthly minerals, we're not gonna go with that. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem on my part here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pause this one for a second. Okay, they're now under new rallying coordinates, which is good. Star base outpost from. I'm not gonna go with that. Uh, great, they're now basically at the doorstep of the UNS. And this is a problem on my end. It does not have any shipyard, of course it doesn't have. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we have a lot of... Uh... Oof, this is a dark time for UNS and uh, honestly I don't know how to solve this one basically we've been outbeaten by almost every uh Okay, before we go through that, I'll rather check my uh, my uh, planetary management here and see how things are doing. <laughs> okay, everything seems to be in good order here. There seems to be nothing to be upgraded here. New Slovakia. Hmm. Well, we could upgrade this one. Oh, okay, we could import some guys here, actually. Hmm. Okay, we'll just uh, remove... about Finn Habanis, um, wait, let me check here, yeah, we have to upgrade this one, uh, so you could produce 600, yeah, wait, oh, okay, that's nice, we can't really, uh, upgrade that, I thought it was, uh, time for an upgrade, um, New Taiwan, well, it will be ready within a year, so uh, there's nothing much there. Vote here is within a year as well. 
so for the moment, uh, they're kind of rampaging. Anyway, the good thing here is they're they're spread too uh, too wide here. So uh, yeah, there's two of them. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. So we got the 12 UNS fleet here. Probably put it on the Salga station. The third. Huh. Okay, 43rd. So this is gonna be Gen Class Corvette. What the hell? Okay, for the 43rd is uh, currently being constructed. So that's the reason why we're seeing a lot of uh, this. Uh, you know a lot of this uh, build up okay yeah, that's okay whoo this is very the tense time for the uh, UNS um, yeah they might hit any time soon here uh, from the looks of it they may They could close their uh, their uh, borders for all we care. Oh God! Wait. Ah, okay. I just went on the hyper relay. That's okay. Okay. Let's merge this uh, fleet that we have. Okay, uh, whew, this is going to be a very, very uh, long fight. For the moment, as we can see here, uh, without uh, they're already spreading here in this area, a significant number of portions, mostly for the midfell. Um, we don't know how large the fleet they, uh, the Unbiden has, but uh, I probably think it's somewhere around 15, maybe. Okay, so for the moment, we got some several fleets here trying to. Uh, I don't know, maybe a bit the... Uh... Okay, we're gonna attack this one, and then this, just to... Uh... Um... Drip and Company, so this is mostly a mercenary fleet. Oh my god, it's full of mercenaries. Okay, let me check with the uh, Griffin fleet here. We could uh, share some. Uh, I like to. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Okay, the 43rd UNS fleet has been. Uh, Admiral Starlock Stem seems to have survived. So Rosalge will be our uh, Okay, defenses. Yeah, we have to specialize our ba uh, units here. Hmm, this is gonna be a very, very uh, problematic for me. Okay, um, clear design, auto complete the ship. 
Yeah, that would be nice, but we, we got more others. No, we don't. Okay, that's... This is, how about light, medium, um, clear design. Oh, mutagenic chill just got... Got the uh, kapoop to oblivion. Heavy hangar, clear ship design, and autocomplete. Okay, that's good. So, uh, on Rexham. Oh no. I think we got some, uh. Ah, uh, right. Alarm station, we got to uh, upgrade their defenses. Same goes with Pando. Tranaka and Yidra station. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a dark time for the UNS, and uh, honestly, we don't know how uh, this is gonna turn out. For now, it's uh, things here are being staying clear. So, uh, okay, we got some several. Uh, oh, good. Okay, continue your research here. As long as they're taking this one and they're uh, more like, uh, you know, what we call this, protecting it. Uh, UNS Archimedes, headed by Sag, Sag son of Jerk will uh, have to, uh, you know, operate in a clandestine way to reverse engineer the remnants here. Unfortunately, in the meantime, a uh, Griffin company here has to, uh, you know, make sure this uh, thing won. Uh, um, honestly, I'm not sure if they're gonna win it all from the looks of it. However, they've been heavily equipped to uh, fight the uh, unbidden here. Their ships have been configured or specialized to kinetic batteries. So, uh, yeah. We're, uh, you know, we're kind of like, uh, all right, so we got now 216 out of 40,000. So I guess this will be a very good landslide vote. We've managed to convince everybody in the galactic community, or the UNS has managed to convince everybody in the galactic community to join and uh, vote for the, uh, you know, for the well-being of the Fornax galaxy. So yeah. In the meantime, um probably have to maximize uh oh, just do this hmm okay so we're, we got a lot of uh, stuff here going on so I guess there's a lot of action um, I have no idea with this um, huh. Okay, must have been uh, some, uh, I don't know, must have been some uh, uh, errors, I guess. Okay, so for now, the heated battle is now in the western side of the galaxy. We're trying to, you know, push the uh, whole, uh, you know, push the whole Unbiden eastward. So now, the Unbiden, I'm, they're still, uh, from the looks of it, they're, uh, kind of like uh, expanding to the south east now I'm not sure why the Igarian arbitrators hadn't stepped in here uh, they should be the ones it's now near on their borders um, we haven't had an excellent relations with these guys uh, ships refitted Oh, we got 203. Okay, well, we're not gonna go for a Veto here right now. Now's not the time, to be honest. And, uh... Frankly... Okay, I'm just gonna construct, um... Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, a gateway here. It will really help a lot. But I lack 2000 or whatever you call this one. Okay, the budget's been approved. 
This is the galactic crisis. We can't, uh, you know. So we are now in constructing. Oh, uh, several gateways here, especially in this ring section, so that we Science can division rally all our forces. Okay, Ripper Auto Cannon. That's good. How about uh, yeah, Mega Cannon would be nice. No. How about Nanite Repair System? Uh, okay, which one's more practical? Uh, okay, it takes six months. Okay, we'll just go with that. Right now, we need kinet all the kinetic uh, kinetic armaments that the UNS can, uh, you know, muster with this one. Uh, God, the Fortress Initiative is, uh... uh we can't, uh, really put on a retreat here. No, we're not gonna issue a retreat. They're mercenaries. They're, uh, you know, uh... They have to do whatever they can just to, you know, stem the tide. But, uh, for this kaiju, I guess he's have a. Yeah, I think he has to travel all the way there. 203 seconds, 202. We gotta send it for resolution. That will be nice. Okay, so we got a lot of loose fleets here. Fleets that I don't even have. It's a cruiser fleet, Oslo Destroyer class. Not. Let me take a look with this one. This is just only 28. Oh. Uh, merging with Cloudburst Void Wings. And we're not gonna go with that. Uh huh. So let's just hope things are. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, the uh, went missing here. Uh, where's the Griffin Company? Dragons. Uh, okay. Well, we don't have the choice. They're not gonna go anyway, so they had to retreat with that. Mm, 18,000 to 85,000. The Griffin companies are our uh, only best bet here right now. Yeah, they just have to buy us some time here. Just enough time just for UNS Archimedes here to reverse engineer this uh, little critter. Okay, it's going eastward. Okay, that's good if it's going east. Yeah, that's a good thing. Crimson Company still, uh, I don't know. Uh, 2382, they should be around here. Okay, well, in any case, I have to put this one to, uh, New Taiwan, if I recall correct. Yeah, New Taiwan will be the, uh, <laughs> ah, the shroud. Yeah, it's a penal colony, but we need all the industrial districts that we need here. Uh, all the uh, stuff that, uh, you know, all the stuff and alloys that uh, kind of need. Okay, come on, it's 178 days, we have a landslide vote. Well, most of them are abstained, there are only a few opponents, but uh, mm -hmm. that's okay, as long as we get the whole uh, the whole galactic community to side with the UNS, uh, they have a very uh, silver tongue when it comes to this one. Okay, uh, whew, 
this is gonna be a Currently, it's a good thing that the other uh, Union fleet here uh, serves as a distraction. Ships refitted. Okay, which one? Which one? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The defenses here. All right, that's okay. So for the moment, we have to. Uh, yeah, they're upgrading Rexim. Well, it seems that the fortress company is really holding up. Yeah, that's good. Although it will take a while. They've been hitting on the halt points here like, uh, you know, they've been hitting it hard. Alright, they're halfway. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that's okay. So as long as he's able, uh, UNS Archimedes will have to uh, deal with that situation. Yeah, we need all that uh, firepower. So as long as UN UNS Archimedes can, you know, deliver, the UNS is in desperate solution. <laughs> as long as they can reverse engineer, it's already halfway. So go, go, go with that. Uh, UNS third fleet is still, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's put on the reinforcement fleet here. Uh, third fleet is really taking its time, but I have to, uh, you know, pull them out. Cloud war, okay, well, whatever you call this. So we got Union fleets here. So we just got to uh Okay, we got a sizable forty-four thousand now. Cloud burst void wings of the Fornax Union fleet. Seventeenth fleet here seems to be uh, ready as well. Uh see if we I got, got any spare admirals here. Lauren McKinnis will be nice. Uh, we have to station them here. Um, I don't know, maybe station them in Astartes or something. Mm, 181st. Okay, um, yeah, we'll probably have to rally this guy. Gonna recruit some uh Vance young fellow. Yeah, I think he's a good guy. This will be the sixteenth UNS fleet. Sixteenth UNS fleet. Oh god, where where is this guy? Okay, Karma Kali. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, 68%. Go, go, go! Uh, Sag, son of Jork of UNS Archimedes. A ratchet ar archaeologist. The UNS ratchet scientist. Alright, once we reverse engineer that, reverse engineer everything, and then, you know, study their weapons and then uh, use that against the uh, unbidden and let them get a taste of their own medicine so uh, it's more like a clandestine uh, operation right now whoo yeah well the griffin company mercenary fleet is still holding uh, they really know their stuff yeah huh yeah huh huh all points they've already chopped it in half well they're mostly battleships now the corvettes not really so it's definitely out of range okay I guess we'll let the uh, you know mercenary fleet do their thing here I think uh, they're very good at that
<laughs> yeah, we got some void sheepers here. So for now, they're spreading. Uh, oh, they got a pirate fleet. Oh God, they're really spreading up south, uh, south, uh, southeast. They're now at the borders of the Agarian, and the Agarians are just, I don't know, just scratching their butts here. Hmm. Okay, Agarians, I guess that will be enough convincing to let you invite you to the Federation, but... I don't know, they don't really like us. There's, in fact, they're still negative five. Cancel resolution will be 121 days, so it's a landslide vote, only four. Well, we got the Storm Rider, as far as I can, as far as we can tell. The score needed to support. They're even on the payroll. Okay, we're just, uh... Oh, wait, wait, just give me a moment here. Yeah, I, I've got the... Uh... Okay, one, one more thing. I, I need to replace the Fen Habanus. Physics job. We're going to uh, change this one. Not because that we. Uh, he's now gonna be. Uh, y you know, plus trade value so that, you know, we could boost up our uh, production here. So that's the first. Imp we're heavily importing now on Xenos. However, not sh Okay, well. Well, uh, Finn Habanis is part of the core system, so uh, we're good with that. So the next generation, so the next generation or new uh, new class of frigates and uh, frigates and corvettes will be basically uh, uh, will be basically based on. Oh yes! <laughs> well, I could kiss this little rat. I mean, you know, he successfully uh, reverse engineered it. So with the cover of the private military uh, making a way. Okay, uh, after that, uh, UNS Archimedes was Taking evasive action. Okay. Oh, what the hell? No, 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 no. Try to do, try to do your work. God, what the hell? What? the hell <sighs> what the hell well there's an epior wait 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 the epior system here there's another alternative Survey the projects, uh, the Breen ETR system. Uh, God. Okay, uh, can't really do much with here. I don't know. No, don't do that. Okay, just, uh, yeah, just avoid. There's nothing much we can do about that, but uh, we should avoid this one. No, I think they're not aiming. As long as this, uh, as long as they're not uh, gunning for the, this guy. Fortress Initiative Fleet is doing their thing. God, that was so close that I could have sworn. Okay, what the 
as much as we want it, we're gonna save this one. This will be UNS episode 21 B. There we go, and I am going to save this one in OBS. You know, it's kind of you know mood killer that I just. Oh well, anyway, I'll continue this one. Just give us a moment. Okay, there we go. We're back on recording. You know, it's a mood killer that you're already on three percent of reverse engineering the secrets of the unbidden, and then some crap thing here just uh, you know try to uh, you know. You kill the mood here. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I should have said that. Anyway, as long as this one's just passing by, it's not getting any attention, then that'll be fine. Uh huh. Yeah, they really know their stuff from the looks of it. Can you see? Ships refitted. And it's not attacking. It's basically out of range. <laughs> So, um, what's this? They're basically a carrier, right? Yeah, no? Uh huh. I'm not sure if this is an error or something. But, uh, anyway, if it's an error, that's okay. Okay, just uh, hurry up, you little mouse. Or else, uh... Ships refitted. Yes, 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 of course. Do what you had to do. Okay, that little mousey here. Alright, so for the moment, uh, it's setting up a... Uh, a distraction okay we're gonna win with the vote as well so uh oh yeah yeah this is operation uh operation jorg or u.s operation archimedes that's a nice name i think i'll better write this one or operation archimedes which uh on story wise i'll probably have to detail that that the uh you know a clandestine operation to reverse engineer the uh, unbidden tech using a various uh, you know mercenaries mercenaries and I don't know crackpots or something crackpot uh, troops of the UNS so for now uh, it seems that the uh, unbidden is focusing its efforts uh, moving on the uh, southeast so uh, yeah let's hope that they could uh, the southeastern galaxy can handle them because uh, the UNS right now is uh, very very busy uh, you know very very busy holding down the apocalypse okay we're just gonna go um, with some admirals who escape claws of black will be claws, claws of black is back as uh, Ah, Crimson Company Fleet. Okay, your guy, you guys are back. Nice to see you again. Go rendezvous in the panel system, I guess. Just to get them. Uh, um. Okay. What? Uh, okay. Right. 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 Griffin Company is currently engaged with the battle, and they seem to be uh, honestly winning out of stroke of luck. Can you imagine that? Come on, you mouse. Come on, mouse. You want to live forever? Uh, can you imagine? I am... You know... Uh, the UNS Archimedes crew and its science officer is... Uh, you know, hiding under a rock and praying that their operation will not get discovered by the unbidden. Can you imagine the thrill of that? Okay, um... What's uh what's this? Well they're providing now thirty percent of research. That's good. So they've now reached uh thirty percent. Our science geeks from the Uri remnant are now uh well leveling up. Okay, we got several things here that have been uh uh 
they're kind of pumping everything now. 502 days. While the galactic resolutions for the galactic community will uh, go down, will be passed around um, 63 days. So that's good. It means the whole galactic uh, side will now be, uh, you know, joining the uh, battle here. Hopefully, we'll be joining the battle. <laughs> I think a uh, corvette uh, fleet is a bad idea from the looks of it. I would have to think that the uh, yeah, I guess I have to go with the carrier fleet here. I'll probably have to redesign a carrier fleet here, but the problem is it might take a time. Uh, artillery hangar core. Uh, hangar bow and then uh, yeah okay yeah we got uh, enough artillery here to, for these guys mm. yeah okay we're, we're, we're okay with kinetics anyway so we probably have to design uh, I mean uh, fleet manager what was this oh, okay uh, m must have been the uh... okay so we're just gonna create a few guys here um, specifically carrier battle group um, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out but uh, was it bubbles class or Icarus let me check with my uh, bubbles or Icarus yeah okay we'll just spread it evenly it will be bubbles and Icarus Icarus class think of it as like a uh, Battlestar Galactica so when you set up oh that's it Okay, we're just gonna spread it evenly. Oh, we got only a... Uh, right, so it's not gonna be implemented yet because they cost a lot in UNS money. For the time being, Corvettes and our frigates are our bread and butter against the... Uh, against the... Uh, against the... Uh, uh, the Unbidden. Oh, yes! Okay, it's a good distraction. Now, uh, UNS Archimedes can do its work again. It got interrupted, so they had to redo it. So 60%, that's that's very good. Anyway, that's good enough numbers. So 52. Yes, yes, yes. It's a landslide vote. Everybody's voting. Even... Okay, what do we got here? Oh, third UNS fleet will have to... Uh, oh, they're kind of stuck. Hmm. Okay, malevolence, uh, long... Okay. Right, we have to merge this one with our four next union fleet so they could uh you know uh whew, they could uh Okay, seventy one percent Saggy, you're uh we could kiss you for a rat. Okay, uh where probably some fleets here are doing suicide runs just to distract the unbidden. Okay, what's this? Okay, um... Okay, do we have any available construction... Uh, Fen Habanis. Uh... Oh, it's a shred. No, no, no. We're talking about this guy. Okay, we're just gonna... Uh, okay, um, we're gonna build uh, probably a gateway site here, which is needed. Oh, we got 12,000. Oh, the whole army. Okay, what's this? Okay, uh, Valort, Khan, made me peace with their, yeah, they've already, you know, uh, settled their differences right now. So, uh, Valor can it Piketty. True Valor and the Valor successor can it. Okay, that doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Science Division report success. All right. Uh huh. So we got some Titans. Yes, Marauder missiles would be nice. That's the first thing we need to upgrade those uh those little stuff here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yes, 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 and we're also doing uh, UNS Calvin on the other side is also doing the uh, you know they're uh, another black top. Uh huh. So as long as those black ops keep coming and uh, we keep chugging, that's okay. And we're assembling here some fleets here that are. Uh, at least uh, beneficial to the whole war effort. Hmm. Okay. So as long as we reverse engineer it and then our science team can, uh, well, we got the pieces, recovered the pieces, and then the science team will uh, have to. Oh, oh my goodness! Hallelujah! What do you know? They did it. The Griffin Company did it. They just simply did it. Okay, Griffin Company. Uh, time, y you know, do a jump here. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Fortress Initiative will have to jump because they're heavily badly damaged right now. So they have to jump here. Uh, Griffin Company will have to be a distraction here or somewhere or here I guess Oh wait, wait, let me take a look. Griffin Company has to uh... No, 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 Griffin Company, don't jump We'll just have to be... Yeah. We need the distraction anyway. So we need those mercenaries to keep this one uh, bottled up and distracted. While our scientists here are doing their best they can for, uh, you know, in reverse engineering it. So it's another... Uh, okay, okay. Just reverse engineering. Battle debris secured. Okay. Operation Archimedes was a success, so we're going to jump out. Alright, you little rat, what well, time to do what we do best? Uh, extra dimensional weaponry, advanced reactor boosters, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. As long as we get we get that little chugging. Um, let me take a look in here, just for a second. Do we have, um... Uh, no, we don't got one, unfortunately. Okay, where's the... We'll stick with this one. Quantum catapult. Yeah, this is your top priority right now, Professor Zarg. That's the only thing you have to do. The other research, just drop it like a sack of... Uh, sack of Banta Fudu. And then... Uh, you know, just that's, the, uh, that's your primary goal. It's our best scientist right now, so I guess... Yeah, uh, you're a best scientist right now, and uh, the only thing that the UNS has against the Unbidden. In the meantime, our forces here, or the Galactic uh, the Fornax Union fleet, is doing their best to, uh, you know, uh, battle it out. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go through this. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. So I'm just gonna get this one. I wanna take a footage on how uh, this uh, science vessel uh, jumped. I think nine days isn't exactly that bad. So, uh, okay, I'll just, uh, 
Uh, let's just wait for this one. Hmm. Oh, it's already jumping. Okay, that's good. Okay, successful jump. Um, proceed as far away from here as possible. Oh, wait. You can also have this one. But, uh... Yeah, for now, stay away from here. Move here. Okay, uh, Debris, EPR, DNS Calvin is, uh... Okay, Galactic Focus, it's now passed. The Unbidden has, uh... uh at the same time, if, uh, the Galaxy has already passed a resolution that they will attack the Unbidden. Uh, they have to battle it. Inbound message traffic. <laughs> okay, even the Galate Colored Canates, which we never, you know, they never exactly talk with us, they're now talking. <laughs> Join us humans, only together we can fight against the treasure. Yeah, 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 we're already doing our, holding off our ass. What say do you? Alright, so it's, this one's right in front of us, so, uh, we're gonna go for a little ambush attack here. So uh, are we ready? This is basically the anti... Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Trying to ambush this one and make sure that... Uh, you know, uh, make sure that this guy uh, gets his ass... Uh, get his uh, behind get kicked. Okay, so Operation Archimedes. Hmm. Okay. Right, so, uh, whew, that was a very, very good stuff. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna have to save that one anyway. Hopefully, on my last. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna go uh, with this one. I'll just gonna quick save here. Uh, I'll just have to remember for 10 minutes. Save this one for 10 minutes. So, this will be officially UNS episode 21B. So, just, uh, you know, as a precaution, I have to save this. And. Uh, so about, I'll be probably running on for another 15 minutes with this one before I officially, uh, you know, uh, you know, officially save this one. Okay, so uh, I guess uh, that secures it. So I'll just have to do another 15 minutes and uh, we'll go for, uh, that'll be the conclusion of the uh, episode 21C. After that, we'll be moving on our final 30 minutes with that. So anyway, it's been a very good, uh, you know, a very good gameplay right now, or a very good, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe very good, uh, I don't know, very good uh, recorded Let's Play. So, uh, elements of the 11th, 13, 12, 43rd, uh, which we don't even know. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, we're just gonna call them 17th, just an official designation. Uh, uh, seven, yeah, just to give them a more proper name, uh, 17th, 17th UNS Fleet, okay, so, uh, which are ships that are specifically designed to hunt down, uh, hunt down and Biden, uh, mm -hmm. hunt down and the unbidden. They're not designed for any combat besides that. Any fleet that would go against them, would they will be easily, you know, get wiped out. Their ships is just specifically or purpose built to hunt down the unbidden. Since that is, uh, of course, their current situation right now. Now, the main problem here is the fleets, because uh, their fleets are extremely still powerful, about 3 million. Science Division report success. All right. Okay, um, just give me a moment here. Uh, Ford subsidies will be nice. Yeah, I think I'll go for Ford subsidies. Okay, uh, Ford subsidies, industrial subsidies. We need to ramp up our com 
commercial uh, com consumer goods, electronics, and our uh, alloys here. Okay, there we go. We have successfully hunt this down. So for now, the fortress initiative fleet will be just be sitting here. Probably uh, the reinforcement fleets will probably uh, do some guerrilla tactics on any unbidden occupied uh, systems. Construction complete. Like what is what the Griffin Company fleet is doing right now. So as you can see, there uh, the whole unbidden here is basically uh, distracted with all this, uh, you know, uh, going in here in this area. Oh, and let me talk to the Griffin company. Uh, wait, let me talk with the Griffin. Uh, okay, we wish to manage our rented fleet. We wish to extend our contract. Goodbye. Okay, elements of our uh, 11th to 17th fleets have attacked or made a... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, guerrilla attacks here. Well, that's the thing you could do a guerrilla attack on over uh, undefended, unbidden ships. Mostly construction ships, to be honest. So, we're just gonna get the footage here uh, for the story mode. So, we're just gonna feature guerrilla tactics of the UNS against the unbidden. So what do you know? We won't be on, on uh, the UNS is actually winning the war because of uh, guerrilla tactics. Oh, that's really something. Okay, we've finished that that construction. Hopefully, uh, it did not caught the attention of the unbidden, the nearby unbidden fleet. Anyway, we're still uh, limited. Uh, we, there's still several um, several anchorage. Uh, uh, anchor, uh, dimensional anchors uh, all across the uh, Fornax or the uh, Fornax galaxy so uh, that's the thing that we have to hunt down one by one in the meantime I have to uh Okay, uh, just give me a moment here I, ha I think I could have sworn I have a civilian vessel here Construction ship UNS Indus. Where is this guy? Okay, goody goody. You're there, right? Hmm. Right. Uh, well, uh, this is the nearest. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I could take him. Yeah, I'll take the you. Uh, this one. For a little gateway site. The. Uh, uh, accomplishments okay we got them um, and we got them hard so that's a good tactic a good ambush now uh, this one we don't know whether or what how the uh, the unbeatable gonna use that uh, unfortunately I think they don't have anything got one uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, the covers, what's this, our esteemed patron, yes, 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 of course, let me talk with the, uh, the fortress initiative fleet, I guess they're the one of the first, uh, uh, crimson company, yeah, well, we wish to manage our contract, um, extend our contract. Goodbye. Okay. So, uh, the mercenaries are basically serving just only as a distraction while our uh, UNS fleets will be serving as the uh, uh, guerrilla uh, tactics here. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay, okay, that's good. As long as that will serve as a distraction. Okay, uh, I won't mind. Hmm, okay, uh, what else do we have? How about Professor Zarg? Professor Zarg here is doing its best, 24 months. 
Okay, that's good. Um, how about Archimedes? Um, well, we could do a jump, but it's not. Uh, yeah, it still can be reached, but it still can be reached by a jump. Okay, mm -hmm. Crimson Company. Oh God. And the Midfell United Kingdom is also engaging in several, uh, several, uh, what do you call this? Guerrilla tactics. Hmm. Well, we could deploy them here, or here in the middle of Sidron space. But the best we could do right now is. Battle debris secured. Okay, we got the ancient dimensional weaponry from UNS Kelvin. Okay, pull out. And uh, let's see how Professor Zarg is doing with this. Okay, he got it's now reduced to 15 months thanks to those. Uh, so 15 months is not really uh, that a big deal anyway. Uh, Storm Rider guarding the independence. Okay, well, whatever. About this one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we should go now with our fleet manager. Uh, Seven thousand five hundred. We'll see if we could buy some. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we should accomplish this one. What? I think we lack the dark. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven battleships on our way for uh, construction. Right there's Trapado. So they got the uh, yeah, that's a good thing. They got the whole uh, you know the guerrilla attacks that is occurring here are on multiple fronts for the uh, unbidden. So they have a hard time concentrating their forces. So for now, they got only two expeditionary forces, and uh, they kind of jumped here. And they still, or envoy sent to improve relations. How can we send an envoy here? Uh, they don't like it. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I guess that's the thing here. Okay, new Taiwan. That is good stuff. Okay, we're just gonna go with this one. We, be, we have to be quick. Uh, New Taiwan. Uh, right. So first off, New Taiwan will have to be... Um, we need at least three of these. Okay, city districts will be nice. City districts. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, just give me a moment. This is a bit confusing for me. Uh, sorry. Uh, three of these. One, two, three. And then. Uh, okay, and three of these are. One, two, three. Okay, and then um, 19 divided by. Uh, I don't know, maybe 8. Okay, let's just keep it out to 16. So we have to... Uh, 8 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have to... Uh, I don't know... Um, Yeah, okay, and then we have to uh, 
produce uh, gas refineries, crystal, chemical, civilian, and then this one. And uh, we still got three left. Manufacturing, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll probably have to go with the uh, Autokyon, I guess. Oh, we got to do commercial zones. Um, hmm. Okay. But for now, that well, it's gonna be auto designated as uh, Nicomonopolis. Uh, yeah, and then uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Now this one, we have to. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I guess this one's. Uh, we have to upgrade this one later on. So for now, uh, New Taiwan has been uh, designated. Okay, so it's a uh, half Unity and half uh, I don't know. And uh, we're going to resell some pops here as well. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, how about uh, the slavery? Um, okay, so I guess there's nothing available there. Hmm. How about Rexim? Okay, so uh, anyway, let's continue. That's uh, okay. So, Tai New Taiwan now is fully operational, and uh, we got some spare here on the star base. So we'll upgrade this one as well. So it could be the beating heart of the new uh, industry of the UNS. Whew. Right. Um, Okay, Comanopolis Foundry. Unfortunately, it's 136,000. I better check my uh, relics here. Reverse engineer technology. Eh, wind wheel missiles. Who gives a. You know. Okay, it's. Uh, Okay, on the other side of the uh, galaxy, it has now reached on the eastern side. Okay, well, I guess that's a big uh, problem right now. Parsec system, yeah, right below it. And it's also uh, attacking the uh, Falar Kingdom space here. So it's one of the large. Okay, well, it's already. Uh, I'm guys going to save this one. This will be UNS uh, episode 21C. And there we go. I'm just going to save this on OPS, and then we'll proceed to our final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play session. Okay, there we go, and uh, we've already saved this, and now we're going to uh, proceed for the final 30 minutes, and then uh, after that we'll call it a day, and I'll probably have to, I guess, analyze uh, what, uh, how I could counter, successfully counter the unbidden here. So uh, anyway, let's continue on our uh, recorded Let's Play. What's this? Uh, food storage. 500. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Container deployment decision. Okay, good. So uh, right now, um, we have to. Okay, we need luxuries distributed here. Um, what's this mean? Pop up key. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Right, uh, okay, so here's the thing, how is my uh, slave, uh, slavery market here? Wait, let me check on the sectors here. New Taiwan, what does this mean? Uh, yeah, okay, they're new. Oh, okay, we got some new, yeah, okay. 
Right, uh, let me check with the market. Unfortunately, I, uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, you know, bought some slaves there. <laughs> okay, so we're now, uh, focusing our efforts here. Hmm, okay, right, right, right. Okay, so we're still far off from achieving any victorious things, but the good thing is that we're already... Oh, I don't know why it's still 21 months. It's supposed to be 14 months here. Huh, okay, well, doesn't matter. Um, I think I'll go with this. Um, relics, how about military applications? Combat drugs, uh, isolation, harmonic shield damage. Armor damage, how about harmonic isolation, or an uh, armor damage, yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, the Kalasan Blessed Alliance, a theocratic empire. Okay, we're just gonna go with them, uh, open their borders, and then establish an embassy. And uh, form a commercial, form a commercial pack with them. Uh, invite the federation, I guess. So, uh, how many worlds are these guys? And where are they located? Okay, well, okay, we're going to. Uh, Improve relations with this guys. Um, uh, what do we do? Well, uh, you know, get Confederation nations accept, and then we can invite them to form a commercial pack, research agreements. We need them, and invite them to Federation. Oh, they're currently at war. Calzan, okay. Well, that's really uh, kind of bummer. But anyway, we're looking for a forward. Uh, I mean, we're looking uh, for a uh, peaceful uh, or a fruitful uh, relations with them. kind of busy doing all sorts of uh okay um let me check with my construction uh ship here there should be some yeah i think we have to uh construct uh gateway system here we need it in the starty so uh you know just to connect this one because it's at the forefront of the battle of, uh, of the UNS. Well, Dyson Sphere could be nice, but we don't have 20,000 alloys right now. Same goes with the Sentry Array. Hmm. Oh god. All right, uh, Griffin Company, time to jump with this. Or at least uh, jump in Magan system. It's a little bit safe there, I guess. So 13. Uh, that will at least uh, save the Griffin Company. Okay. Alright, um, we can't form a commercial pack, offer association status, uh, currently they are at war, so, uh, hmm. okay, we'll offer an immigration treaty with them, um, 
form research agreement. But we have a very friendly rela relations with this. Um, okay, we're now going to be on level 3 with this one. Okay, that's good. So we got 20 months, so let's keep extending. Last one it was 15 months, now it's... Oh well, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, getting 17 fleet will have to go here as well. Okay, just got in the nick of time. Okay, they're very good. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, commercial packs, that's good. Monthly gain is 1.7. Okay, let's have an e um Okay, new Yemen. Uh, Terra Frank special good news and bad news for us. Yeah, I'm Gaia World. The bad news is that everyone living the planet is exposed to the terraform gas. Okay, okay, well, that's good. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's now attacking the panel system. Oh, God. They're now attacking you in a space. Uh, this is gonna be a battle, I guess. <laughs> okay, so it's now hitting the uh, 2.1 million fleet here. Okay, um... Uh, Yeah, we should attack this one. Okay, so Pandal system is being attacked. So we have to deploy for next week now. Fortunately, as much as we want to stay, they had to, uh, uh, you know, do the... They have to attack right now. The one of the idiot fleet. Third Uranus fleet is uh, still uh, doing their uh, thing here. Okay, so I guess that's a big uh, problem right now. Okay, oh. um, let me check with my uh, star bases. Okay, my star bases is still in production. They're still ramping up stuff here. Wait, wait. Uh. Okay, we have to, uh, yeah, yeah, I just have to give them an order. Fortunately, they can't face it, uh... Okay, so we have to face them, uh, with the, uh... So a new Palau will have to be, uh, only a garrison of about 118. This is, uh, very bad right now. <laughs> We'll proceed with the f uh, with our uh, fleet here. The sound is station. Yeah, they're currently busy right now as well. Oh. 
Okay, well... Uh, oh god, this is a very, very, uh... Okay, we've now equipped our new federation. What does this mean? It means, uh... Friends if, and available invoice is plus one. Ship fire rate is plus, and then Admiral level cap. So Mila Pila will be assigned now to the Fornax Union, just to add this uh, unity points. And, uh, I don't know. Okay, that's, uh... Okay, so that's a good to go. So the unbidden so far is 3,000, uh... 796 harvested worlds is three dimensional anchors are active is 10 and uh, unbidden kill is 20 what's this search the abandoned cavernier yeah we don't really have time for that wait wait let me see okay new europa yeah we'll see if we could have uh, we could spare some uh, construction ship here it's not being used. Mm, okay, so this is very, uh, whew, this is a very tedious uh, battle. And, uh, where are we pumping it up to 52% here on the research? And 232 days, so it will take at least a year before the science, uh, the science mega structure is operational. So while this is happening, we got no choice here but to hide our butts and hope that uh, could they jump? No, they're not available in the jump space here, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, uh, this is something, I guess. Uh, I think Fortress Initiative fleet can jump here so that they could serve as a distraction. I guess at least that's what I think of. Uh, for the moment, um, I don't know what this 180 fleet is. A frigate, a soul frigate. Uh, okay, well, we'll just uh, relocate them as well. Okay, uh, I guess they're being uh, lined up here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is a bit confusing. Um, for now, I have to uh, keep all of my fleets here. Oh, 120. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Spaceport? What spaceport? Oh, yeah, unfortunately, they're now attacking the panel system here. Oh, uh ho, -huh. ho. This is gonna be a very, very long day for the panda, but there is no. Um. Okay, let me. Let me take a notice. New Levian will have to be evacuated. Unfortunately, it is 54 worlds. Uh, the Midfell, uh, ma majority of the Midfell. How about New Palau? Oh. Yeah, we have to transfer most of our uh, folks here to New Taiwan. Unfortunately, we gotta have a, a little bit of evacuation. Unfortunately. So, uh, the evacuation of, okay, let me take this, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they have to be evacuated to New Taiwan. <laughs> now we got a forge world here. Uh, available housing, New France, New Bahrain, New Spain, New Chile, New Korea, New Minwar. Okay, it's New Taiwan for them. Um, 
for the moment this is going to be a little bit of a problem, but... Wait, wait. So the metallurgist. Okay, so I guess uh, we'll just have to keep the metallurgist here because it's essential. Okay, that's okay. And we got some fortress. Um, okay, it has uh, a FTL inhibitor. I hope New Libya has one. Um, Okay, well, um, it should have some sort of, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to replace one of them for an FDL inhibitor, but, uh, <laughs> laws, so we're now gonna go for medium, uh, Gonna be centralized now. Yeah, we're gonna go for Larkin and voting the Overlord huh, for forty years. Okay, we'll just go for 20, 30 years. Yeah, I know that's bad, but uh, for now, this is a crisis. Uh, okay, so it's now 40 years. So we're now centralizing our power here. But here's the problem. Um, okay, well, uh, I guess that's it. We just have to, uh, okay, New Taiwan has a lot of, uh, problems right now. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, I guess that, uh, Okay, so New Libya and New Palau will have to be, uh, you know, you know they have to be, uh, well, they have to hold it off for a while. It's a good thing it's a military base, so, uh, New, exp um, okay, Fortress Station, uh, only problem here is, uh, Okay, Jakob Squadron from the, uh, I don't know what. Okay, so they're now spreading here on the uh, eastern side. Hmm. Okay. Well, we just have to pump our, uh, uh, I don't know. We just have to pump almost uh, our... Uh, our fleets here. Mining station lost to enemy action. Yes, of course, that's uh, pretty much unavoidable right now from the looks of it. Hmm. Military station lost to enemy action. Yeah, well, we don't have choice. Pandil has to, uh, you know, Pandil has to hold. So the only thing they could do now is, you know, dug thick and, uh, or dig thick. Hmm. I think we could need a griffin company. But let me take a look at this one. Okay, I, I'm, I haven't taken a look on some stuff here, uh, because I was too busy. Uh, how about New Myanmar? It's a mining colony. Um, uh, probably have to go with gas. So I guess as New Korea is still in agri world. Okay, um... Uh, 
Okay, new Bahrain, but uh, right, uh, got several new. Uh, huh. Whew, this is very. Uh, Crimson Company is here. Fortress Initiative is here. Dragon Spearhead is still missing. Um, they should be back at least uh, next month. Griffin Company is this. Hmm. Let me check with the. Uh, I don't know. Let me check with the uh, contacts here. The Asher Mercenaries. Okay, uh, we wish to rent. Oh, okay, they're dead. Okay, uh, okay, well, I guess they're not uh, open. They're being currently being rented anyway. Alright, uh, I think I've. Uh, how about the Black Tower? Uh, they're being rented as well. Okay, uh, okay, so, so since they're being rented, how about the. Um, Crimson Company? Yeah, I think we already have that. Wish to extend our contract. Okay, goodbye. Um, how about you guys? Um, Trade League uh, Curator Dragon Spearhead Fleet. No, no, we already got this, guys. Um, Okay, Dragon Spearhead, Fortress Initiative. Oh, Griffin. Do we have Griffins? Griffin Company. Okay. And they're not the. Uh, Okay, let me check here. We got the Griffin. Oh, this is a lot of mercenary fleets, but uh, how about the Griffin fleet and the Griffin mercenaries? They seem to be. Uh, okay, let me check with these guys. Hmm. Okay, um, right, they're from Pricky T, from what I've heard. Um, hmm. Okay, Norami Civilization, Fragmented Nation States. Uh, they're probably primitives. The Burian Protectors, Holy Guardians up north, they're not happy about us. The polity of uh, yeah, they're hegemonic in France. Interplanetary compact, pretty so uh, doing their thing. Storm Riders, uh, true alert. The unbidden is negative 19, surprisingly. Ori Remnant, the Lord Canate. How about the Vitris Corporate Alliance, Yemisera Free Traders? Ah, oh, not great. I guess that's a, a bit of a problem where I can't uh, negotiate with almost everybody in the whole galaxy is pretty much occupied on how to uh, deal with this, guys. Oh. And we... God, we got only a handful of those folks. Okay, we just have to back up a little bit here. Uh, we have no choice but to back up a little here. Yeah, okay, well, there's nothing much we could do about that. Let me check with my uh, fleet here. Ok, 
Okay, they're probably bad. Uh, yeah, they're kind of like a uh, shop up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I've already ordered the four next Union Fleet or the Void Wings or something. Yeah, Cloud Burst Void Wings. Yeah, I think uh, I have to order them as well here. Uh, this is the unbidden. Uh, two million. Okay. Uh, we got the 18th. How about the uh, Ziza or the. Okay. Uh, Sota Nakagawa will probably be. This is. Uh, I guess the 19th UNS fleet. Yeah, just to give them a formality. Okay, there's also purge going on from British New Yemen. Oh, okay, so, uh, oh, orbital bombardment. Yeah, the Biden is really uh, destroying this world as well. So they, they didn't really had to uh, escape on that part. Oh, oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, uh, right, um, uh, okay, for next Union Fleet, I'll we'll just keep uh, rewriting this one, and Rizal, okay, uh, that's your shipyard assignment. Okay, whew, this is getting tense right now. And more tense because uh, we just lost the Pandal system. Uh, that's a lot of resources. Uh, hopefully they're not gonna bomb New Palau or New Libya to oblivion here. However, the remaining residents that were managed that did not uh, evacuate will have to deal with that and hide underground. Okay, we'll just have to... Uh Okay, so this is gonna be a. Uh, they're now in UNS space here. Uh, they entered in uh, the former Midfell. Uh, it's not gonna be U UNS occupation, it's now U UNS Midfell uh, Cooperation Zone. Hmm. Okay. Uh huh. 166 fleet merging with Hornax Union Fleet. Anyway, it's already 30 minutes, so I guess we'll have to conclude all of our recorded Let's Play here in this one. So this will be UNS episode 21, letter uh, D. So there we go, and for those of you who are watching this, uh, thank you a lot, and uh, it's been a very, very uh, good recorded Let's Play because uh, there has been some major... Uh, you know events and uh, currently the uh, Biden is still uh, an ongoing issue but anyway uh, uh, I would like to express my express my sincere thanks to those who you all are watching this and again uh, I'll see you around on our next recorded let's play again this is the fairy archivist have a great day everyone and uh, bye bye for now <laughs>